Well, hello and welcome. Good afternoon. My name is Robert Bailey and I'm the off-campus uh, student services coordinator. And first off, we're grateful to have you here as we uh, welcome you to our non-traditional student graduation reception. Uh, we're gathered here today to recognize your accomplishments and celebrate the successes that you have uh, achieved during this momentous milestone. Uh, through years of hard work and dedication, maybe a couple of tears, you've accomplished a great feat. Uh, we offer this special recognition, res recognition reception to create an opportunity for you to celebrate with your peers and acknowledge your accomplishments. On behalf of off-campus student services, we thank you for attending today and wish you the greatest of success moving forward. Uh, if you will join me in welcoming Mr. Daniel Armitage, uh, our Associate Vice President for Division of Student Affairs, who will share some thoughts and wisdom. Thank you. Um, it is great to be here in so, so many ways. It is my honor to be here to help celebrate your accomplishments and your graduation from UNT on, on behalf of the Division of Student Affairs. And also to say how sorry Dr. Elizabeth with the Vice President for Student Affairs is that she's not able to be here with you today. She would be doing this herself, except she's actually at a conference in New Orleans learning about something that's going to be very important. It's also great to see what appears to be spouses, partners, friends, parents, children, here celebrating your accomplishments. This is very important. You know, to say congratulations to you is not, doesn't seem like it's simply enough. Before I came over here today, I did a little Google search. We all do those things called Google search, right? Do you recognize the fact that what you have done is an incredibly rare thing? For non-traditional, what does that mean? A non-traditional graduate, most people who go back and try to accomplish what you've done, less than 25% are successful. Think about that for a second. Of the people who are considered non-traditional, Less than, and it depends. One side I looked up, it said 21%. One side I looked up said 16%. And one side that I looked up said 24%. So go figure that one out for me, right? But what that means is, is that the work that you've done is really remarkable. And your stick to it, your persistence, is really something that makes us here at UNT very proud. And so to the parents, to the spouses, the partners, the friends, the children. It is really important that you take this time to pat your graduate on the back and say congratulations, because this is a very difficult thing to do, and your ability to go back and stick to it is really remarkable. And why is it so remarkable? Many of you don't have the challenges that an 18-year-old, or have more challenges that an 18-year-old coming right out of high school would have. Some of you have jobs, partners, children, a long commute. Some of you, maybe it's been a little while since you've been in school and you were a little nervous about what that might mean. Maybe this is your first time actually being on a campus in a number of years. Or maybe it's your first time being on campus because a number of your classes were online due to this thing called a pandemic that we're all trying to work our way through. So it's really important that you consider your accomplishment. Regardless, we recognize that you likely had to put a huge effort into obtaining your degree and getting the most of your experience. I imagine for some of you the degree is the opportunity to take just one last thing off of your to-do list and now to start thinking about what's bigger and better and what's going to happen to you in the future. And never forget that it's always willing to be, you should always be willing to try something else. I myself, at the age of 55, decided to start over, move to a state called Texas that I knew absolutely no one. And it's one of the most rewarding things. So never Give up your opportunity to get out there and try to do, to do something else. So as you celebrate your uh, graduation, know the university is incredibly proud of what you've accomplished. 
and we appreciate the dedication. And we hope that you pass along words to your friends, to your, to your other classmates that still may have some classes left to go, of telling them and encouraging them that this is an important milestone in your life and it's something that no one will ever be able to take away from you. With that, we also hope you stay involved with campus. You might be getting an undergraduate degree. It might now be time to go get a graduate degree. It might now be time to go and try to, to do some other things. And UNT is here for you. So, with that, I have one other thing to do, and you're going to have to bear with me on this one. Because I used to get to do this a lot, but now I don't as much. I'm going to post something on social media. <laughs> And that's going to be out there saying, this is a group of people, friends, family, children, that we're here to help our students celebrate an incredible milestone. Stay safe. Have a great time at commencement. And thank you so much for letting me to be a part of this really remarkable occasion. And I apologize that I actually have to run across campus to a meeting on what would happen if another winter storm hits like last February. <laughs> and that's kind of an important thing. But anyway, good luck to you, congratulations, and never forget that we're here and we're willing to help any way we can. Thank you very much. Well, with those words of wisdom, what we're going to go ahead and do is, uh, during commencement, get the opportunity to walk across the stage. We'll give you that another opportunity one second time. Uh, we're going to announce your name. If you can, don't mind, come up here to the right. We're going to hand you uh, the Sylvia from our office. And um, we just want to give you the opportunity to get recognized again for all of your hard work and all the efforts that you've uh, you know, accomplished. Um, we can, we'll introduce our first name. This will be uh, Adrian Briggins. You can clap. You can celebrate. We've got Marcus here who's going to take some pictures. We'll record everything. If you want later on, we can get that information out to you as well. All right. Alexis Chavez. Andre Hampton.
A. Garcia. Kiwan Williams. Kimberly Clark. Kimberly Ritchie. Malik Gilder. Bajor Islam. Nadia Ladisma. Rachel Cochran. Randy Williams. Rebecca Birch. Alexis Chevitz. Alexa Lynch. Olivia Martinez. Marvel 
Schönhardt.